welcome to the Lipstick Life Cycle video. Before I start explaining about the life cycle, let's take a look for a lipstick introduction. Did you know, in 1800s, lipstick and makeup were prohibited among upper class social circles because they see a lipstick user as a fallen woman or chief. However, during 1923, James Mason Jr. has patented the first flyout lipstick until it boom the makeup industry. Have you ever think why women need the lipstick? It is because 84% women feel very confident, powerful, and comfortable after applying lipstick. It unleashes someone feminist that positive energy is felt by all who they encounter. Besides that, 70% of female users like to apply a light to medium makeup including lipstick. It will make them look and feel younger. Also, 38 of cosmetic and lipstick products are used every day among women aged 20 until 30. Without any further, let's move to the lipstick life cycle assessment. Normally, a product life cycle consists of 5 or 6 phases. It starts with a raw material, manufacture, package, distribution of the product, consumer use, and finally, the end life of the product. So, let's go deeper into each phase. A production of lipstick starts with preparing the raw material such as water, oil or wax, powder, color, and different types of chemicals. The lipstick manufacturing phase starts with heat the raw material before filter it. Second, mix the liquid mixture with color oil and wax before combined with powder. Next, move to the roller machine to smooth the mixture. After that, pour the mixture into the molds and container to shape the lipsticks. More wax will be added to fix the shape. The final product will be test before next phase. Third phase is package. The lipstick use aluminium, glass, paper and paper board, wood and plastic. Plastic is widely commercial due to low cost compared to the other materials. If there is no problem with the lipstick, it is ready to distribute to the consumer and buyer. Truck is the main transportation to deliver all the lipsticks. Distribution distance and route, load utilization and frequency of delivery need to be considered during this phase. Next is consumer use phase. The production of lipstick need to ensure it has functional benefits, product safety, and quality social benefits. The final stage is the end of life of the lipstick. It has three options, which is called post-consumer, where consumer can return the primary packaging of the products previously purchased to receive a free new lipstick. For example, the lipstick brand MAC will start a program called Back to MAC which calls on the consumer to return the primary packaging of the product previously purchased. By returning the package, customer receive a free lipstick of their own choice. Next is recycle. The inner packaging will utilization, recycling, incinerating with energy recovery or composting especially if it is made up from biodegradable material. And third, dispose the lipstick at landfill. Generally, lipstick can last for 1 until 2 years or if the texture is already changed. Lipstick that are more used, there is waste of nearly one third of the product due to the inner package. Did you know, lipstick production may lead to the negative impact to the environment. So, we move to the life cycle impact assessment. We start with the environmental impact from lipstick production. During raw material extraction, it has been recorded that more than 100 tons of candela wax every month were exported by refineries and distributors from Mexico. Besides that, there were 22,400 tons of carnival wax were produced by Brazil in 2006. Both wax are mainly used as a raw material to produce a lipstick. 
wax, also known as a lipid to that extract from plant and animal. Lipids help to measure the lips and wax help to rigid the shape of lipstick. Meanwhile, 20 million kilograms of hexane per year released into the atmosphere. It made up from hydrocarbon mixture. One of the pollutants contribute to smoke and greenhouse gases. Hazen is a solvent during extract the raw material or lipid extraction. 42% of energy consumption from manufacturing plant and distribution. There were 165,000 of carbon footprint of the product formula from one of the largest cosmetics manufacturer in Europe. The greenhouse gases will emit from the truck or transportation during distribution phase. Let's move to the environmental impact from lipstick consumption. 1 billion lipstick casings are discarded each year and ending up in landfill. If they made of plastic, they will take in excess 400 until 500 years for degradation process. The earth deserves to be happy. But, how can we reduce the environmental impact? We start with raw material. Use biodegradable raw materials. Avoid and ban harmful chemicals to the environment. Second, manufacturing phase. Use the renewable energy, for example, biomass, solar thermal systems, and electrification. Apply the innovative building design such as green roof and use the materials that are non-toxic, ethical and sustainable. Third, package phase. Use biodegradable packaging instead of plastic packaging to fasten the decomposition process in landfill that will reduce and shorten the greenhouse gases. Also, use recyclable and usable packaging to encourage consumer practice the environmental action. For distribution phase, shift the transportation from road to rail, from air to sea. Introduce hybrid or electric vehicles and use large container trucks to reduce unnecessary trip. 5. During consumer use, they need to practice energy consumption. Reduce automobile usage when buying the lipstick. Finally, seek at the end of life, reuse and recycle the lipstick casing. Consumer can return empty packaging to the company to reduce the density of empty lipstick at the landfill. Lipstick make your life more colorful. But how about the earth? Lipstick cycle without considering the environmental decision will make the earth turn to pale and sick. Hence, life cycle thinking is essential for both lipstick production and consumption towards sustainability. Beauty is not just about yourself. Beauty is how you treat the environment. That's all for sharing session of Lipstick Life Cycle. Thank you for watching. I hope we can gain something from it. Before we end our video, please subscribe our channel for more videos and follow our Twitter and Instagram. Bye!